Welcome, sir. Sir, please start, sir. Please do not worry. So very good afternoon, all of you. So today, the Institution Innovation Council of Sri Nirmala Vidyalaya College of Arts and Science is proudly organizing the webinar on innovation and creativity. So at this great occasion, it's my honor and pleasure to welcome our resource person who has given his concern immediately to us to deliver the lecture on innovation and creativity today, Dr. Vincent Herald Nelson, Professor, Department of Technology Management, School of Mechanical Engineering, VAT Velour. Welcome you, sir. My heartful welcome to our dynamic leader and the president of IAC, our beloved principal, Dr. Subramaniam, sir. Welcome, sir. And it's my pleasure to welcome the convener of IIC, Mrs. Selva Jayanti, Assistant Professor of Microbiology. Welcome, you, ma'am. And I welcome all the members of Institution Innovation Council of Astronomy CAS and faculty members, as of the departments of various departments and beloved students. I welcome you once again. Welcome you all. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Good afternoon, everyone. It's my immense pleasure to introduce the chief guest of our today's session, Dr. Vincent Harald Wilson, Professor, Department of Technology Management, School of Mechanical Engineering, VIT Value. Sir is a well experienced academician, also of 36 years experience in teaching field. He has a startup by name Grand Tech Industries, has seven patents by the government of India, have more than 24 research papers in the international journals. So, So we know that it is muted.
and new new problems are also there new new diseases and new medicines new treatments new solutions so it is endless when you see the world economy it is going somewhere around 104 trillion economy and it is good to find out where india stands in this global economy i came across this uh, chart which is very useful to find out the relative position of economy in the in this world i'll just share my screen are you able to see the screen are you able to see the screen unable to see the screen sir okay okay i'll now are you able to see the screen no sir no sir for me it is showing shared okay now sir yes sir okay okay so this is the world uh, economy the 100 trillion world economy is a recent figure global gdp in 2022 we recently hear a new term you would have heard inflation but a new term is coined uh, which is called stagflation after this corona there was a stagnant growth everything was stagnant and people thought it would revive but the revival is very 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 slow so already the economy is affected in us and many other countries that's why the government of india is putting on taxes about taxes they are cutting down the income tax reductions and gst and cutting down so many facilities it is because they have to sustain this stagflation and when you see this uh, chart you can see the united states with 25.3 trillion economy so united states of america it is the largest economy since 1871 can imagine is the giant and next to that is china with the 19.9 trillion and you can see japan 4.9 trillion and uh, india somewhere 3.3 trillion and all other countries you are able to see taiwan pas thailand indonesia see entire african countries south africa nigeria ethiopia uganda rwanda Egypt, all the African countries economy put together is less than the Indian, or almost equal to India. You can see what is the development. Even Canada, it is only two point two trillion. Mexico, one point three trillion. So here you can see the other countries: Iran, Australia, Russia. Russia, one point eight trillion. UK, France, Germany. Netherlands. So, with this stagflation, 
unless we have inventions new products and marketing is very difficult to survive in this country so with this introduction i would like to go to uh, one slide where albert einstein has told we can't solve problems by using the same kind of thinking we used when we created them we have to start in our thinking so that takes us to the topic called design thinking in our thinking itself we have to start designing that's the idea about this uh, new thinking style now what is this design thinking how we get ideas for this design thinking design is too important to be left to the designers now it is time everybody should start designing fashion design see this chap the small little baby it tries to establish a contact with another baby which is crying it is trying to understand the pain and it's telling the child i am very near to you so that gives a kind of comfort to the child so that's a feeling it is called empathy sympathy is uh, commenting something and going sympathy doesn't establish a connection but empathy establishes a connection so as technocrats as graduates we need to establish contact with the people who are experiencing problem we should understand their problem maybe we will have to establish a connection that connection may be an emotional connection or social connection or technological connection or economical connection whatever might be according to your capacity try to establish a connection suppose you have emotional connection you start asking to him what are the problems faced for example a farmer in a land where there is no bore well water there is no rain but he has got two or three acres of land and how he will produce what he will learn so to a farmer you go and stretch out a helping hand and try to find out what can be done for his problem so empathy is the first pillar of innovation second pillar is collaboration what is collaboration you can see from this picture different people from different walks of life different sectors different countries they all join together you can see indians you can see americans you can see europeans you can see africans all are together so when you collaborate you get new new ideas because different people think differently it is because of their background their brought up their career their exposure so on and so forth so we need to collaborate how is it possible for you to collaborate with a foreign person yeah you can send a mail go through some research article or publication and you send a mail to him i have gone through your research article and i am impressed by the work you have done and write something technically about that article and appreciate it and you will get a reply like that you can establish a contact or you may be attending a seminar or a conference and somebody from abroad comes get their id card uh, get their visiting card i attended a conference in rmk engineering college long back and one professor came from us his name is hans poyer is a general secretary of ifes international federation of engineering education societies so he is known around the world so i got his card and when an opportunity came for me to go to us i used that contact i said i am coming there 
will you arrange my meetings and other places and people to meet he said he will gladly do it so he put me in touch with another professor from massachusetts and already i have established a contact with carnegie mellon university and boston other places so this collaboration can make greater things and i requested him to come to my college as a guest and he came while he was coming he brought another african also to my institution so like that we are establishing a contact when he came to our institution he offered a scheme every year i can take one student free of cost to italy to attend a student conference that platform is speed student platform for engineering education development see what all the collaboration can do and that particular professor hans hoye invited me to china then i had been to china for a conference and then on the return went to singapore i visited some professors in nanyang technical university like that so it is not a very difficult thing but you have to try you have to dream i dreamt of visiting foreign countries got some collaboration sent mails and they honored it and i could do that and through the collaboration you learn so many things so that is a second pillar of design thinking third one after having the collaboration try to find out what is each person's ideas they may have some new ideas as them to write in a small bit of paper and hang it or you can paste them in a wall and every day they can write some ideas so those ideas you can glance through and something may click among all those ideas and once you get an ideas you make some model sit down and make some model and repeat it till the model becomes a very good one till the model becomes a good one that is called iterate iteration you must be knowing the word iteration so in summary of design thinking it is empathize with, with the people's needs unless you go out and meet the people with the problems you will not get idea when you meet problems you can find out try, try to find out some solution for the problem you know how uber taxi came uber and ola it is a big revolution in the entire world where the uber company without any single taxi are controlling tens and thousands of 10000s and lakhs of taxis and they make money they tell the driver where to go what to do how much to collect everything in the app i hope some of you would have had the experience of traveling in uber or ola taxis haven't you okay how that uber came it is two people from us they went to france for a conference the conference was over and they took the dinner it was very late by the time they came out when they came out they were trying for a taxi nobody was coming they could not identify a taxi to come to the place of stay very difficult so they were put into lot of difficulties because of that somehow they managed to get a taxi and the moment they came back to us they thought first we should find a solution to this taxi problem taxi should be available where the people are that is the aim we should not go to the taxi stand but taxi should come where we stand that's the idea they have you know you know there is no uber taxi stand there is no ola taxi stand they keep on roaming and when you call they are there in your place they come very near to you and give a call i am driver so and so this is the vehicle number and you can get in the uber car or ola and complete map we have so you will not be taken to a wrong place the person cannot take you round and round and collect a lot of money you cannot exploit because you can see with the google map in your own mobile and his own mobile is displayed for that purpose and the charge also he is not bargaining and they fixed they fixed the charge based on the time based on the distance based on the remote place so empathize with people's needs so now you know the entire world even india how much is 
Uber solving the people's uh, problems. Wherever they are, they can book a taxi in Ola or Uber. So there is empathize with people needs and collaborate with others. They collaborated with the people who are working in the software to create the app and other things. Include every idea in visible form for evaluation. And after including the idea, repeat, 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 iterate and test the solutions and perfect them. Always keep the human needs at the center. So design thinking quiz. Design thinking or not design thinking. So this is some club, air club meeting in US conducted long back where they are all discussing various ideas in those days with a formal meeting. And nowadays modern universities, you see how the discussions are going on. We have uh, boards and all the boards you can see, they paste the papers, small papers, piece of papers, which has got ideas because anybody can get idea. As soon as you get an idea, you write it and paste it. And then when people come there, they go through different ideas and something clicks, they take that idea and they contact you and they work further to develop a new product, a new product, a niche product for the market, for solution to the problem. Now, what is the actual design thinking process? You are empathizing with a person. That is, you are going there and you talk, 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 and he tells all his problems. So the empathize, it's getting larger and larger. It is uh, diverging. It's diverging like this, the blue color. And then, after understanding all the problem, you start framing the problem. Frame, reframe, and how technically or in other details the problem can be stated. So frame and reframe the problem. That process is called converging problem. Converging. And after converging, again, for that particular problem, what are all the ideas? That is called ideate, ideation. So diverge. So again, the yellow color, it gets on diverging. And then again, you are going to start converging. You got an idea, you selected a particular idea and make a prototype. You can make it a, in a paper or a powder or a 3D printing or a simulate, simulation you can make. Whatever type you can make, you can make if you have facility and make the type and test it. Testing, it again converges to a point. So this is the journey from problem space to solution space. Or we can say it is the journey from design challenge to design solution. Now you see, in challenge, when you face the challenge, it is very complicated. You don't understand anything. It is like a cobweb scribbling. But when you go through this design thinking journey from problem space to solution space, slowly the clarity comes and finally it is a single thread by the time you come to the design solution. Design thinking branding. There are many, many organizations where they have branded their design thinking. That is empathize, frame, ideate, prototype and test. This is uh, developed by Design Thinkers Group. Empathize, frame, reframe, ideate, prototype, test. But Stanford D School, they have slightly different. Empathize, define, ideate, prototype, test. IDEO, it's another innovation lab. Gather, generate, make, share. IDEO V2.0, inspiration, ideation, implementation. Luma Institute, the Slogan is look, understand, make. IBM, observe, reflect, make. FSU, Florida State University has got a separate lab called Innovation Hub. I can show you the pictures of this Innovation Club. So, in the Innovation Club, students, they spend a lot of time and uh, Does. This is the FSU hub. I hope you are able to see this picture. Huge building with a lot of uh, tables, space, papers, machines, 
so people come sit and think and work and learn, learn about uh, various ideas they get they keep on doing it until they come to a final product see what's the new at the hub designing your life your mentor so here he is making a small robotic vehicle here designing your life new class gives students control see here which he is painting and uh, they have a lot of uh, 3d printing remote 3d printing is available innovation hub safeguards front line like that the florida state university is uh, here you can find out interdisciplinary transdisciplinary people people from various uh, departments and branches they are all sitting together and listening to the lecture in order to get the new ideas and things like that so that is the last one first you innovation hub empathize ideate build you know ibm ibm has uh, uh, set up an innovation club in kochi in kochi they have innovation club and what they do they try to create artificial intelligence in collaboration with iit iitm kottayam and also many other companies like microsoft and google i told you about the collaboration now amazon microsoft google like these companies they have collaboration they are planning and working for the next generation technology are the methods and tools available these are the websites where a lot of tools are there empathize design challenge stakeholder mapping context mapping road mapping ethnographic research then coming to framing empathy mapping exploring person personas journey mapping like that it goes on brain writing affinity mapping and finally design solution these are various tools available and you can use the tools mind mapping exploring personas and how might we this is another technology in florida uh, state university hub uh, a teacher teaches how might we do this in a different way so a separate uh, course is there and students sit and think and think and they develop so this is the concept of design thinking steps and in the developing of a product we have something called as minimum viable product mvp sometimes what happens is you identify a problem and you are coming out with a solution and you take long time to make the final product with all perfections because when one thing is working another is not working something is not good looking and you are giving it to some other workshop they take lot of time by the time you get the finished product the particular problem is disappeared so your product will not have any demand nobody is there to buy your product so that why there's a person called eric he brought in this new concept minimum viable product what is a minimum viable product bad products no one want to wants to use viable products are built by companies with better resources then what is my duty take the intersection of these two good products for startups to build that is a minimum viable product why do we need a mvp minimum viable product how do we decide what features should be there for this product can we do to validate our business hypothesis from here where do we go so you have to construct a minimum viable product that is it will not have all the features it will have minimum features to work so once you make it you can give it to your friends and the friends can give it to their friends and they may suggest some changes so even before you make a final product incorporate those changes into that product it may be a bio bio technology product it may be a energy drink you are making for the sports people or energy drink you are making for covid patients so initially you prepare give to people somebody say it may be very it is very sour then you can alter that don't wait until the finished product and this minimum viable product will go through some modification adding some salt adding some sugar or take adding some more water or adding some other uh, ingredient like that you keep on doing it 
finally it is the best one so uh, this is the concept of uh, minimum viable product as i told you very price we developed a lean startup methodology lean startup means without wasting time with the minimum time with the minimum resources with the minimum money amount you are making a product that is called a lean product so he failed he had to close down his first technology company because it was not uh, moving nobody wanted the product so he studied other successful companies and he also studied highly successful companies like toyota and he wanted to be flexible and quick while building the products so he brought in the concept of lean startup and the concept is build measure learn you build a product immediately measure the feature like you are preparing coffee you are adding one spoon of coffee powder and adding one spoon of tea uh, sugar and milk half tumbler half tumbler water and you are tasting it and you are giving to your uncle or auntie or your brother or sister ask them to taste and they taste it and see if some more coffee powder is added to be good so that is your learning part and then again build it measure learn build measure learn it may take four or five cycles before you come up with the final finished product so first a prototype is built and the idea is written down then it is pitched to the customers given to the customers they provide the feedback so the company learns what to keep and what to change then the changes are done in the prototype again everything is started repeating the process until the prototype is good enough to go to market if it hits a mass market it can continue the loop to enhance the product so this is the way how the lean startup concept was very famous now it was brought into the picture lean startup management the author is eric rice through his own tough experience he made it so eric started a second company called imvu it's a virtual reality world an e-commerce engine that is uh, if you wear the glass you feel as if you have gone into the shop you are able to see the, all the dresses fashion dresses everything and so that is using the user generated content and 3d characters that is the uh, one created by this uh, eric so he was building imvu and his co-founders worked endless hours for 6 months to create a prototype of uh, 3d avatars and later they found no one wanted it first month they made a total of 300 dollars because they somehow asked their friends to buy next month they made 400 dollars after begging friends and family to try it then eric saw their faithful first customers disappear and his co-founders decided to shift from feeling frustrated to talking to potential customers they tried with the teenagers and were all using the heavy technology mainstream customers and then very quickly they represented it in sketches videos explanations on how it might look so like that they built the yummy other examples are dropbox you know dropbox is a, a facility a software facility where you can store all your photos and materials documents it was not created in a perfect way it was a, created in a small way with minimum features but as people started using and giving feedback they developed it into what it is now very advanced facility of dropbox zappos is an another example of a minimum viable product development nick swinman he created the zappos shoe company it is an online shoe company how he ventured this <coughs> he went to a mall to buy shoes and uh, he could not find a shoe of his style and the color he wanted so he got frustrated and then he thought why can't i make a online buying sh- a online shoe line so he asked his friend tony hishi he is the current ceo of zappos to invest in this new project so he gave half a million dollar and the company was started 
they started with a plain web page and with the basic photos of shoes and pictures and immediately he ran ad campaigns and measured the web traffic adjusted the web page and spent so much time in building a detailed plan about his business and now it's a successful online company and uh, uh, it is a success zappos is a success dropbox is a success so why do we need a minimum viable product because we want to execute within a short time the goal of customer discovery is to test your understanding of the customer's problem see if the solution will prompt him to use the product by the product or not and early adapters love to use minimum viable product they tailor the initial product to satisfy the need if nobody is interested they change it until they say yes see this chair it has underwent some modification and now it is a new product that people are ready to buy it is some uh, funny picture so the goal of a minimum viable product is to build the smallest feature set so you may have some bright ideas try to build a small simple uh, product that is a success story of this gentleman you know the first person who is the first person somebody can say you can unmute your mic and say who is the first person yes very difficult for somebody to miss him am i audible selva janji madam i hope i am audible for you sir you are audible sir okay okay because i suddenly had a doubt whether uh, uh, i am talking to the crowd or uh, simply i am talking yeah because nobody answered who is the first person here you can see the mouse he is steve jobs he is the founder of apple computers yes sir yes sir Apple for iPhone, all those things. See, he passed away. He had a very bad cancer, and he died. But it's a very, very innovative company. They have number of aeroplanes just to transport the Apple products from US to other countries. They have their own aircrafts. The second person, the second person is uh, the founder of Twitter. Twitter, we all know Twitter account. Politicians use the Twitter account. They post so many things. is dorsey and this person is a uh, owner of the second market so all of them started using the minimum viable product you know steve jobs how he developed this business there were two big computers he thought why can't we make them small beautiful so they bought the computers but for buying they don't have money they didn't have money they went to two or three shops and said that they would supply good computers and got the money and then they remodified the big computer uh, into some compact size that is the first two computers they sold and then slowly they started developing he also has studied the handwriting polygraphy and uh, he used that concept to make all the fonts you know uh, calibri we have times roman all that uh, he is the person behind that so this is the these are the examples of uh, minimum viable product this is a 3d printing uh product it has come out very well so the principle is less is more in mvp development you don't need to have so many grains just corn grains just have one and test it now new is easy right is hard so great better gi apple company number 2 the most boring feature is the most important one some people started finding the boring thing and then they developed it and really it is working for example instagram app and things like that then part of least resistance minimize the friction how simple we want the process to be do we really need them to fill up everything 
some of the feedback forms make it as easy as possible and it will work think scarcity demand versus supply so what is scarce concentrate on that one what is having more demand concentrate on that one pushing the user to repeat the using the app subconsciously now when you open some website there will be one or two easy questions when you start clicking it takes you to other questions gradually and finally it gets everything you want then focus on closing the loop for the user i was telling you about the example of uber now when you finish your uh, you start the journey and then finally end up at the destination and finally the uber uh, sends you an app message in the app, uber app your journey is completed you are at the uh, right destination place thank you for using uber and this is a charge is a time and any feedback everything is asked there is focus on closing the loop for user many people sell the products but there is no feedback on closing so so this is the uber headquarters and confirmation and reset everything is coming and the sixth principle is iterate redefine refine with user feedback and usage data go on refining the product so be prepared to pivot if it is not working when something you are making is not working try to change the pivoting point try to change the direction try to change it upside down try to make some changes you may come out with a new uh, product so in closing i would like to say learn from everyone and follow no one observe the patterns work like hell and i'll share some of the innovative products one is cam pill cam pill is made by one israeli scientist that is you have seen the vitamin capsule tablet a small one plastic and you swallow it ultimately it will melt in your it will get digested in your stomach it will dissolve so in such a capsule he has put a small camera and the camera can be controlled by using a computer outside so if somebody is having a problem in the intestine or stomach you can ask them to swallow this tablet the tablet is nothing but a camera and you are just lying down and the doctor is uh, operating the computer that cam pill turns to every direction and uh, it turns to different directions and is able to take pictures and the doctor will know exactly where the problem is the tumor is or whether everything is all right or not is able to find out that is called uh, the cam pill similarly the so many technologies are developed in israel so many places it is developed and i can show the only i like to conclude now so observe the patterns work like hell nothing will come out when we don't have passion but when we have passion there will be a solution so with this few thoughts from my mind i would like to conclude i thank the organizers for giving me an opportunity uh, to present my ideas i remember last time i shared differently and this time uh, further deeper i have shared mainly the design thinking the pillars and uh, minimum viable product and how to sustain that activity now the floor is open for any questions and uh, after the questions we'll wind up thank you for your uh, active participation thank you sir the forum is for uh, discussion now please yeah good up yeah creative how to be creative in the classroom yeah instead of going 
MT100, you can take a model, paper model or some model, uh, to explain something, and that uh, will instigate uh, that, that will instill a curiosity in the mind of students. A history teacher goes to the class. What he can carry? Very difficult to think of what he can carry. But what he takes is he takes the old coin in the Gupta period, and he just uh, tosses it and ask some student to take, uh, take it and uh, head or tail. It may not have head or tail. Some other picture may be there. So he's asking them which country coin it is. So they try to find out any country name. Then suddenly somebody finds uh, Gupta or Asoka statue and they say, sir. So this kind of uh, curiosity will have to inculcate. It's always better to start the class with a question. Ask some question and let the students feel free to answer and tell them even if they give wrong answers they are welcome there are no right and wrong answers some answers are very close to the un, uh, right answer some are far away from the right answer that's all there is no wrong answer like that you remove the fear among the students let them interact and like that the class can be lively so like the history te teacher takes a coin you know, if you are a teacher teaching physics you can take some three uh, iron balls, another three iron balls, and you can expand the momentum. So for every class, try to create, a, a, a think of some product. But nowadays, it is very easy if you are using PowerPoint. Try to find out if some short video is there. Very short video clip, which will create an interest. And that interest will survive for the rest of the class. And uh, end of the class with another question, so that the students look forward to the next question. Short, short videos are available, developed by people. Uh, yesterday I showed uh, a short video on empathy and sympathy. Very good. It uh, gives them a good understanding. So like that you can start with a video or real-time story you can share or take an article. Any news article came, the latest in the research journal, journal paper or newspaper, that cutting you take and show, students will feel happy and they'll involve. And uh, like that, the classroom can be very vibrant and it can be innovative. Hope I've answered your question, madam. Okay. Uh, 